Hello, Misfit Nation. Welcome to another episode of Lessons for Hannah. Many years ago, I introduced a new format alongside our regular episodes called Lessons for Hannah. Hannah's my daughter. She's one of the main inspirations for the Misfit Entrepreneur. And I wanted to have a place where she could go and learn from her dad and his misfit friends throughout her life, even after I'm gone. So if you haven't listened to the first episode of Lessons for Hannah, I urge you to do so as it gives some more background and tells the amazing story of how Hannah became to be in our lives. Lessons for Hannah are short, very useful, and sometimes comical lessons that I want to share with you and help to give Hannah uh, to help you both in your lives. And because I want to uh, have Hannah have these for her life, I'm going to speak as though I am talking directly to her. So these episodes are a lot of fun. And if you think there is a lesson that we should include in these episodes, please don't hesitate to send it over to us at support at misfitentrepreneur.com. We would love to share it. As a reminder, if you are new to watching the show on YouTube, hit the subscribe button below. Give this video a like and comment as well. We do our best to respond to all comments as timely as possible. Okay, here goes this week's lesson for Hannah. Hannah, in this lesson, I want to talk to you about a simple yet powerful concept. Do the work. This message is not just for you, but every entrepreneur listening who is striving to achieve their dreams. Let's break it down and understand how it applies to our lives and our business. First, do the work when nobody's watching. It's easy to put in the effort when others are watching us, when we have an audience or someone to be accountable to. But the true test of character and dedication is what we do when we're alone with no immediate reward or recognition. That's where the real growth happens. In fact, one of Tony Robbins' most famous quotes is, people are praised in public for what they do in private. Think about your studies or hobbies that you have. The hours you put in practicing or learning, even when no one else is around, are the most crucial. This principle applies to entrepreneurship as well. The late nights, early mornings, countless hours of effort that nobody sees are what truly builds success. Next, do the work when nobody but you thinks it will work out. There will be times when others doubt your vision, your plans, your abilities, really in anything in life. But if you believe in what you're doing, You have to keep pushing forward. History is full of stories about people who were told they couldn't achieve their dreams, but persevered and proved everyone wrong anyways. Remember, your business won't build itself, your physique won't carve itself, and your goals aren't achieved with magic. It takes consistent, dedicated, hard, and smart work. And when I say smart work, I mean you have to be working hard in the right way or on the right path to reach goals. I know people that work very, very hard but have little to show for it, and that's because they're working hard in the wrong areas or on the wrong things. Make sure the work that you're putting in is truly moving you toward the results you desire. Whether you want to excel in school, get fit, or grow a business, this principle remains the same. Probably the most important aspect of this rule is to do the work when everything's falling apart. Life isn't always smooth sailing. We all know that. There will be obstacles, setbacks, and moments of doubt, but these are the times when it is most important to push through. When everything seems to be going wrong, that's when your commitment is truly tested. It's easy to give up. But if you stick with it, you'll come out stronger on the other side. Conversely, you must continue doing the work when everything's going great and even resolve to push harder in those times. Success can make us complacent. It can make it easier to take our foot off the gas. We might feel like we've made it and can ease up on our efforts. But maintaining success requires as much, if not more, work than achieving it in the first place. Always keep your eye on the long-term goal. You also must do the work when you have every excuse not to. We all have reasons to avoid hard work, fatigue, distractions, other responsibilities in life, but excuses won't get us closer to our goals. I've got a canvas in my training room in our basement, which you've probably seen before, and it says you can't deposit excuses. It's the truth. Results are what matter, and excuses keep keep us from reaching them. Overcoming resistance is the price that must be paid, not just once, not just twice, but every single day. And this brings us to really a crucial point. Growth requires facing resistance. Every time we push against that resistance, we become a little stronger, a little better. Excuses need to be destroyed and the work needs doing. It doesn't care how you feel or if the entire world is against you. All it cares about is that it gets done. This is probably the number one reason why I continue to race Ironman after all these years. I've made it to the world championships multiple times. I've finished consistently in the top two or 3% in the world, but I still feel that I've never had a perfect race. 
this keeps me pushing because even though I'm getting older, my times are much faster than they were when I started and they continue to get better. Additionally, the race will test you on all levels, physically, but especially mentally. Because even though I know I can finish, my mind still tries to get me to slow down or push less. And every time I push through these thoughts and push myself past these mental limits, I grow in all areas of my life. It reminds me of The Man in the Arena by Teddy Roosevelt. And here's what it says. It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions? Who spends himself in a worthy cause? Who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement? And who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who never know victory nor defeat? Hannah, here's the final takeaway. If you want to go to bed satisfied and proud of yourself each night, you have no choice but to look resistance in the face, rise to the challenge, and do the thing you know you need to do. Remember this, success in all areas of life isn't about luck or shortcuts. It's about doing the work day in and day out, no matter the circumstances, no matter what comes in your way. Embrace the journey, face the challenges, and stay committed to your goals. The rewards will follow. I love you, Dad.